2013 Oklahoma legislative session was a wildly successful year for Oklahoma Farm Bureau. In 2013, we stood up for rural Oklahoma, extended agricultural producers' private property rights, and set in place a reform that will help ensure water users are properly represented statewide. The bills in this video are merely highlights from this year's session, which was packed with success from start to finish. Let's take a look at some of Farm Bureau's biggest legislative victories. The most contentious bill we saw this year at the Capitol was House Bill 1999, authored by Representative Sky McNeil in the House and Senator Eddie Fields in the Senate. This bill legalized horse slaughter in the state of Oklahoma. This was not just a horse issue. At the end of the day, it became a um, pr private property rights issue. It became production ag. It became an attack on all of rural Oklahoma, basically. And all of rural Oklahoma stuck together on this one issue, whether it was horse owners, um, whether it was cattle producers, pig producers, whatever it was, we really stuck together as rural Oklahomans. Even with out-of-state interest and animal activists shouting their opinions loudly, the rights of Oklahoma farmers and ranchers prevailed thanks to our legislative leadership. Our state's growing agritourism industry benefited once again this year with bills passed by Representative Scott Biggs and Senator Ron Justice. House Bill 1638 creates the Agritourism Act. This act protects farmers and ranchers from unnecessary lawsuits on their farms. Some people were, were uh, fearful to get into the, this kinds of business because they were afraid of those liabilities that they might incur. And so, they were reluctant to get into it, but with this, I feel that more, more uh, people will get into the, the, those kinds of, uh, of opportunities. Senate Bill 931 specifically removes the liabilities for farmers and ranchers that allow hunting and fishing and recreation on their property. Prior to this bill, you know, if someone was to charge more than $10 for a hunting lease, uh, they would be liable. Uh, there's a $10, limit, $10 per acre per year limitation. Uh, so what this bill is, it removes that $10 per year limitation on hunting type leases and other agriculture activities. Senate Bill 708, authored by Senators John Sparks and Representative Tommy Harden, increases the fines and penalty for second time offenders when fences are cut and livestock and property are damaged. Senate Bill 708 addresses the cutting of fence um, when livestock behind the fence escapes and is uh, killed or injured. Uh, the first offense is a misdemeanor, the second offense is a felony. Second time offenders will face up to $1,000 fines or up to two years imprisonment for such acts. House Bill 1923 by Representative DeWitt and Senator Justice creates a drought relief commission fund to deal with the ongoing drought we face in the state of Oklahoma. This bill allows for the forming of a commission if the governor of Oklahoma declares a drought emergency in the state of Oklahoma. The uh, Secretary of Agriculture the director of the conservation and the director of the water resource board. Those three members will be the advisory committee or commission that will work with the governor in uh, determining which applications or which areas need the funding the worst that will help drought relief across Oklahoma. Perhaps the most important piece of legislation we saw this year at the Capitol was Senate Bill 965 authored by Representative Mike Jackson in the House and Senator Bryce Marlatt of the Senate. This bill takes the nine-member Oklahoma Water Resources Board and makes a more regional representation of water issues in the state. If we're going to address our statewide water policy, we have to have representation from all parts of the state, from uh, the metropolitans, from the rural communities, from the areas that have surface water, from the area to the areas that, that uh, use groundwater for irrigation. There's all kinds of different water usage across the state and there's all kinds of different needs. And, uh, and so having everybody on the board that has an idea and, and a wealth of knowledge uh, in how water policy will affect their region and their industry is vital to addressing our long-term needs on water policy. It is a regional plan. You, it has, uh, you know, Northwest. Of course, I'm very um, interested in Northwest Oklahoma. Um, it, uh, it separates out Panhandle. Oklahoma City dedicates a seat to Oklahoma City and Tulsa as well to make sure that uh, they have they have a voice and they have a dedicated voice. But at the same time, I believe that. Uh, um, having these, this regionalized plan and looking at uh, water usage and making sure that those permits that are be, being given by the Water Research Board, somebody knows what's going on in that region and that's what we ended up doing with Senate Bill 965. Water will continue to be one of our most important issues we face not only this year at the Oklahoma Legislature, but for many years to come. 
On behalf of the State Board of Directors, thank you for taking an active interest in our political process. You've heard me mention how your involvement makes a difference. Your visits, your phone calls, and your attendance at legislative meetings make all the difference in passing Farm Bureau policy. And as we prepare for the next legislative session through our public policy exercises, I look forward to each of you taking an active role in shaping our organization for the future. Together, we will continue to successfully develop policy that will help agriculture and rural Oklahoma prosper. And remember, your involvement makes a difference, a huge difference. See you there.